real simple. People have been asking. You are the our Chris Brown apologist on this show. Wow. 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 That's a lot to say. Wow. I've never uh, bought a Chris Brown album in my life. This is similar to our Jodeci debate thing situation. That's that's fair. Fine. Whatever. But you're also not his target audience. So by the we time can't be the same age. We I'm not his target audience. Chris Brown is 35. Or 30, 35 or 36. Yes. So you I again he was standing there for no Chris. Nigga, what? No. Chris Brown is like 30. He just turned 36. He's 35. He just turned 35. Just you turned are 35. correct. Okay, cool. So y'all, what y'all not gonna do is this. Not y'all, like I appreciate y'all listening to me and letting me uh, to have allowing me to have a voice, sharing my thoughts and opinions, sometimes facts, a lot of times facts, right? I'm gonna say this. Okay. I am not 110% convinced that the events happen the way that they are saying that they happen. Are okay, for people that? that may not know, hold on, let's, yes. let's put the table for everybody and people may not know. Chris Brown has been accused of jumping some individuals in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, four individuals have put four different lawsuits on him. And also brought Yella, uh, Yella Beezy in on this as well, because I guess he was at the show. Um, and they have put these charges on him, not charges, lawsuits on him. Uh, supposedly security, some one security from the venue has also put charges on Chris Brown as well. Now you can continue. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yes, you sound perfect. Okay. I just want to make sure because I had messed with some mic thing because my it felt like I could hear my mic, like a feedback on my side, but you couldn't hear it. But anyway... Um, <sighs> the reason why I feel like this is lucky is set up is just because y'all ain't go to the cops. Y'all went immediately, like literally the like at eight a.m. the next day. There is a lawsuit, and his an attorney calling Chris Brown a hoodlum. He has a history of violence. Yes, he does. But it, it's, it just seems really planned out, right? So here's here's the thing. And, and this is going to be, I'm, I'm going to talk to Chris in a second. Somebody that Chris Brown was beefing with at one point, you buy the meet and greet. We all know that's a $1,000. So you go in the dap, Chris up or whatever. I don't think this happened in a club. This, uh, this happened apparently after the the venue. It's at the venue, yeah. Yeah. So you you dapping dapping niggas up, and then somebody said allegedly says that, oh Chris, that so and so, the person that you you know like you had beef with, and then Chris Brown allegedly says, oh yeah, what's up, nigga? I don't forget shit, and then summons his goons to beat him up. This guy or these guys. Well, what are we, I mean, what's going on? That's strange. And so if if this the events occurred the way that these guys, the victims are saying that it occurred, y'all low-key set him up. Y'all said, y'all, because y'all knew somebody would say something. Because, like, also, like, if, if if it was somebody that I was beefing with, why am I paying $1,000 to do a meet and greet with you? But also, I need Chris Brown to think before he speaks and reacts, right? Mm. Because if that's the case, you really could have been like, oh, yeah, all right, cool. And then just escorted them out. Like, had somebody escort them out. And that just be that. Like, and you were like, hey, I got $1,000 out these corny ass niggas that paid to... Say I had a great show and dat me up. Like, I don't fuck with you, but I got your money. And that just be that. Like, why, why, why do you have to take it there? You're saying, like, why does it have to go why, to... Why, if, if, if the violence <laughs> happened, why is this even a thing? 
also it's giving it's giving energy like the game the game is a very mm. active person and you're always fighting and you're like 50 years old chris brown is too old to be behaving like this that is why you have security that is why you pay people um to handle your lightweight for you you know to escort people out and you have to start handling your business differently you don't want to be agree. located or affiliated with the your past transgressions and this would have been the perfect opportunity for you to be like okay i've gone to therapy i've done the work y'all are weird and y'all need to leave like please just security these niggas they can't be back here and i hope whatever y'all beefing over i hope it don't have nothing to, it probably don't have nothing to do with nothing just some nigga shit on in the night, on that, the night. that is just really what it is and so i challenge you chris brown to do better you know i'm able to hold people accountable though i don't know chris brown <laughs> <laughs> But for me, for me, it's like, okay, be the change that you want to see. You talk about like all these highs and lows, the things that you've experienced emotionally. Like think about, I, 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 now a lot of the stuff that's happened between, you know, for Chris Brown, like has gotten thrown out. You know, you, I, I, you probably pay a gajillion dollars in child support because you don't seem to want to put a condom on. You got three different baby mamas. Um. Mm -hmm. And you've been jailed before for violating your parole. Though sidebar, when he came out of jail, when he was sick and looking like Sinbad, he looked real good. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I mean, look like Sinbad. He, hey, he was thick like Sinbad when he got out of there. But anyway, you know what I mean? So I just think, I think that whatever it is that, he, that is troubling him, and why he, I don't know why niggas are so obsessed with the street. I don't know, and it, it just baffles me. Growing up in the hood, and I and I and and I can give a lot of credit to my upbringing and you know my village for sure. But this this weird fascination that niggas got with the street is fucking wild. At some point, you gotta outgrow that shit because it's not you gonna end up dead or in jail. And you already been to jail, Chris. Yeah, that's a. I don't understand what Chris like. Listen, and I, I'm not, and, and the Real Housewives know this line. It was a scheme set up by Todd. <laughs> by Todd, <laughs> to get the guy to pay to get like his him. money. It was the easiest. I mean. For me to pay a thousand dollars and I could potentially get in this fight that I could probably recoup hundreds of thousands of dollars, they not getting no millions. He'll he'll at some point they'll Shapiro will have him settle or say, Hey, listen, nigga, like we not about to take this into court, just settle this shit and move on. They'll he'll settle for an undisclosed amount. We're just gonna keep and it pushing keep it moving. But he's gotta, he's gotta do something. This is, it, he's he, gotta stop being a nigga. His, it is time for. We already said that, and uh, and and this not nobody else's responsibility to help him grow and to save him. It's not. We already talked about the Bobby Brown thing before. Somebody entering <laughs> and, and, and stepping in and having a conversation with him. Chris Brown has to want to save himself. Mm. Not his kids, him saying, oh, my kids saved me. They're the reason why I'm alive, that I didn't kill myself, blah, 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 blah. That's not, that's too much. You're putting a lot of responsibility on your children. You have to want that for your fucking self. You're right. You're right, because he literally, he can't just be living like that. He can't be you just. You can't do that. You he can't, he's got to figure out a different way. At yeah. this point, you're almost 40 years old, and you still yeah. out here doing you you already pledged grad school blood. Like, can we like do something else with it now? Yeah. 
it's it's really is you have to grow up and just be like, all right, niggas, I'm done. Mm-hmm. The, I'm done. If y'all if y'all want to be on payroll and be around, y'all y'all listen. I can create a job for you if you're not interested in working. You gotta go. It ain't no hard feelings. But I I got kids. I I want to get married. I want to have a family, and I can't live my life like this. You've been in the industry since you've been like 15 or 16 years old. And, and aren't actually, you tired of that bullshit? <laughs> aren't you tired? You've been acting a fool for almost for damn near 20 years. And 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 granted, we have periods where we don't ever hear like it'll, it'll be a year or two where you don't hear nothing about Chris Brown. Right. And then it'll be something outlandish, and then they can't prove it because, but you you do things that make yourself an easy target. You got to stop. You got to stop, son. Yeah. And then it's like this nigga don't have a daddy. This nigga got a daddy. He does? Yeah, he got a daddy. He know his daddy. Oh, shit. Did not know that. Yeah. Like, at, at some point, it, it, you just... People are so used to having yes people around them. And people being able to profit and benefit off of your shit, it's it's just it's it's it gets old. You're not tired. We're tired. <laughs> and he's not tired. Like what? It, what was the song? What is it by the one dude that's crazy? I don't get tired. Who was that by? Um, damn. I don't know. Listeners like oh, it's such such the dude that uh. Just got out of jail or whatever, got in trouble because he kicked that girl off the stage or whatever. <sighs> he wore the little feathers in his hair now. Who? You know what I'm talking about? Nah, you said. <laughs> oh, uh, the he be Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates, weird ass. Yes, there we go. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you know I'm getting old. I'm a pretty like you know the little dude wearing feathers in his hair. But Chris, <laughs> oh, we got to get better. All you had to say, all you had to say, was the guy who was saying he like used to date his cousin or something. Like he found out. Like oh, that I girl. forgot all about that. So you just said I knew about. Hey y'all! If you like what you see here on Everyone Needs an Aquarius, be sure to hit that button right there. It'll take you to more clips, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share our podcast. See you back next time.